Hi, right, so uh, we have uh, already seen how uh, we can uh, add and remove items towards the end and the beginning of the array. Um, in this video, we're going to see how we can change data basically in the middle of the array. We're going to look at three operations, splice and slice. And then we're going to see how we can join arrays together. Um, so let's start with this array. Um, let's say let nodes equal to um, go re uh, me fa so fa di do. So that's uh, basically your uh, musical notes out there. And uh, Obviously, uh, let's say uh, if we print uh, that on our screen. Um, uh, notes, uh, they are going to look like this. The entire list uh, printed. Um, I'm not going to do a changes. We're going to take notes dot. Uh, if we print notes dot uh, slice. Um, let's say four. Now what we get here is uh, so la do so basically uh, slice uh, star, uh, means that uh, we get a slice of the array from the fourth position to the end and the fourth position basically this is the zero position uh, this is one and so two three and uh, this is going to be four so we get a slice of this array starting from here okay uh okay now uh we can also use a second argument inside our a slice function we can write uh, slice four comma six which uh, would denote the end position of our slice and then uh, the output is so and la because um, obviously this is position number four and this is position number six so this is the output that you get okay um now uh, we can talk about uh method called uh, slice so this is how uh, slice works uh, we just uh, thing about the slice operation is that it is non-destructive in nature which means that uh, if you uh, slice these nodes um, like we have done here obviously uh, is something like this um, and we just slice it and after slicing if I uh, print the value of uh, nodes we're gonna see that the actual array has uh, not been changed the entire array is uh, present um, let's now move on to another operation called uh, splice okay so there's this uh, operation called splice and what does splice do is let's uh, splice nodes nodes dot uh, splice and uh, what we're going to splice is uh, say i take uh, four as an argument like just like we had done before and then if I log the value of uh, nodes here uh, you'll see that uh, what happens is we have got do re mi fa in our original uh, nodes array now because the, the original array has been changed uh, let us uh, assign uh, this output of the splice uh, function to a variable let's say omit equal to uh, notes.splice4 and let us also uh, print the value of uh, this uh, omit uh, variable this gives us a better idea that uh, the part which was spliced which is uh, starting from uh, sign from uh, this so to uh, this entire part now this has been spliced and it goes into the omit variable and the remaining part which is uh, basically uh, this part of my array that is uh, obviously available in notes here as you can see okay um, yeah. going back to uh, the splice uh, parameter it can actually also take uh, another value uh, here which is basically it can take uh, the number of items that are supposed to be spliced so uh, if i uh, want to for example uh, splice uh, this uh, so and la this part together i would have to use the value 2 here not 4 comma 6 it will be 4 comma 2 
because uh, here the second argument is uh, the number of items to be spliced not the end uh, the end position so uh, uh, let omit equal to nodes dot splice 4 comma 2 and uh, let's uh, run this code uh, as you can see um, so and la have been uh, spliced out this has been spliced out into uh, the variable omit okay and the rest of uh, the array which is uh, basically uh, this part is uh, available inside uh, okay What uh, splice can also uh, do is that uh, splice uh, can replace data as well. So uh, if uh, instead of uh, that, if we do uh, uh, this, uh, let uh, or let me just do uh, node dot uh, splice. Um, we start uh, from uh, the first three variables which is zero and the first three items so i'm going to replace the first three items um, with uh, these items sa re ga okay and uh, if uh, we uh, print the value of uh, the notes array after the splicing has happened So uh, what basically happens in this case, as you can see uh, here, is that Sareka has been inserted. So um, nose dot splice uh, zero means that's the starting point. Uh, three means a length of three items, and after that, the parameters that are provided here, these are going to be replaced in place of these. So these get uh, deleted, and in place of that, these are added. So that's what uh, splice can do. Splice can help you change data inside uh, an array as well. So yeah, I hope that makes uh, splice very clear. Okay, next uh, we're gonna take a look at how um, concat works. So let me uh, start with a small array. Um, let's say uh, just do re mi as our uh, array here. Okay, um, no, instead. Just not do it in a destructive way. Um, right. So uh, nodes is basically uh, do re mi right now, and uh, if I uh, log uh, the value of uh, nodes dot uh, concat sa, and that's gonna print do re mi sa. Uh, one thing about concat is that concat is also non-destructive in nature which means that if after doing the concat we print the value of nodes uh, that's uh, not uh, gonna have uh, sa here as you can see sa is not existing here because when you do nodes.concat the it produces a new array uh, with the changed uh, value, which is basically the concatenated value, but uh, the original array is uh, not changed. Okay. Uh, also, uh, we can uh, use more than one argument in concat. We can do sa, re, uh, ga, and in that case, what's going to come up is, uh, as you can see, uh, we uh, got uh, sa, re, and ga, all three of them. Have been uh, concatenated to the end of our array by calling nodes dot concat. Um, another thing about concat is that uh, you can actually pass an array also as an argument to concat, but that's uh, not going to be a very same thing as you can see. If I pass this array sariga into nodes dot concat, and if I uh, run this again, you know. Uh, so this also works. So you can concatenate either multiple arguments. You can send sa, re, ga as three separate arguments or you can send 
uh, an array of Sarega and uh, that uh, does, as you can see, that this has been concatenated there, does the same thing. So uh, that gives us a basic idea of how splice, splice and uh, concat works on our arrays.